Hello everyone, my name is Ibrahim Qureshi and I am going to show you the installation for ESX 6.7 I am going to do a nested installation today um, This is very much useful if you are planning to have your own lab at home and you only have one server so at the moment what we are going to go through this is the agenda item why do you want to nest it as i said it's the cheapest way to do it obviously if you have only one host you can uh, start doing yeah. nested esx and you can have multiple virtual esx hosts within there um to do that you have to go through installation the uh installing the esx host on the physical machine which um i I had an old lab here which I decommissioned. This was uh, HPDL380 G5. As you can see, I have highlighted it here. Very expensive to run. It was um, having wear and tear. Had to keep replacing the disk and stuff. So I decided to move on and use the commodity desktop um, Dell Optiplex 7010. I didn't spend much. I only spent less than 400 pounds. I uh, got a decent size desktop which has. Um, 32 GB memory, 4 chips of over here as you can see 4 chips of 8 gig which gives me 32 gig, 2 terabyte hard drive. Um, I installed the ESX and then unmounted the CD-ROM drive and added a 100 GB, 100 GB uh, SSD drive uh, in the sorry SSD drive in in the um, physical machine. So at the end, the end product is this basically. So I have it running. Now what I am going to do is I am going to quickly show you how we are going to create a new nested one. So I have got I have got few nested ESX already. Before even you start doing this, um, there's one small thing which I wanted to mention is you need to enable SSH on the physical machine, which is the physical server which you are going to use to do all this necessary stuff. And then you need to um, edit the file etc slash vmware.config and add this value there. So I will show you how to do that quickly. Basically, you enable SSH, go in to this file and then um, just say this is how you do it Let's restart the session start a new session first First of all, we need to, before doing that, we need to enable SSH. So if I go on the host, which is this one, go to configuration. There are two ways to do it. You can do it on the, the uh, direct user interface, um, which is called DCUI and DCUI. Yeah. Or you can do it from here. Edit settings. Go to SSH. As you can see, it's stopped. Start it. Then once you're in there, once you have started it, you will be able to connect to it. So this, yeah, and then you'll get. Sometimes you'll get a pop up for accepting the certificate. You just need to say yes, and um, it will allow you to connect. And then you now need to go to slash etc slash vmware. config over here as you can see I have already enabled VHD VHV dot allow dot uh, allow equals to true if uh, to basically edit you need to press insert uh, and then start editing from there um, obviously just copy and paste the line as I have shown you before and then once you have saved it we can to save you have to press escape press colon and wq exclamation mark just go back in there and check whether it's there which is there quit again wq is for quit for saving and quick quitting it's colon wq exclamation mark so without wasting any more time i just want to quickly run through a quick 
quick installation so that was the first configuration you need to do on the physical server which actually I'm doing nested or nested so that 103 which we just edited is a virtual uh, machine running here which is here SAESXV01 um, but it doesn't matter so I'm just going to install ESX01 and again that's going to be sitting in the nested ESX folder quickly next and it's going to be sitting on that O3 machine which I just mentioned to you this is the disk which I have I have 25 GB free in the disk I only get because it's nested I only give it 40 disk 40 GB disk quickly say next this is the important slide um, option I guess you need to select guest OS other and then scroll all the way right to the bottom and select 6.5 or later and then click next now there is a setting which you need to modify here on the CPU and you need to select expose hardware ass uh, assisted virtualization to the guest um, and then obviously there's only one physical CPU which I have given and uh, like I can increase the cores so I just increase CPUs to 4 also because I only have 25 gig remaining I can't give a 40 GB hard drive it will fail to create the virtual machine so I'm going to give it 10 gig and I'm going to specify that this is this is going to be thin provision you can give more if you are planning to use it as a main disk and install OS within like virtual machines within there you can give as much as you can but be mindful of how much memory your physical machine has so next this is configuration and then finish you do need to enable uh, promiscuous mode on the switch to allow any VM which you are going to install within this nested ESX host to talk to each other so for, for doing that obviously you need to go to networks for me I have done it over the network layer if we click network select the switch and then sorry I'm in the wrong setting uh, it is on the virtual switch which is here edit settings and then you'll find security and promiscuous mode so you need to start accepting promiscuous mode this is what i have already done on my physical server so as you can see promiscuous mode and mac address accepting up for i don't know why I enable fraud transmit but yeah again as this is my home lab this is how i have chosen to do it okay so quickly start with the installation you need to power it on first and then select I'm going to load the remote console once it's connected I'm going to mod, mod the ISO and then we can start building uh, installing the VM so hopefully I can do show it to you now mount this and then restart this it's going to do a power cycle on this so that it can pick up the installation by the way guys obviously this is just installation I have already got this on my blog if you can go and check my blog com. you will go through all the steps you need to do uh, you can go through all the steps you need to do screen I have taken screenshots on each step on how to do the installation um, don't forget to subscribe on my channel uh, I'll keep on posting interesting videos to make your learning experience even